Hey everyone, I'm Mike, this is Baz. And today it's time for your favourite format, my favourite format, Pass It On. It's not Ben's favourite format. No. Though. We're one for two at the moment, aren't we? We failed, we won. We could, but we could do better. Very we could green. do better. Do we want to put ourselves in an order before or after knowing the theme? After. after. <laughs> <laughs> Janice, what are we doing? The theme is savoury fine dining. Savoury fine dining? Savoury fine... Janice is really <laughs> just auditioning mm. for Wait, MasterChef. If you've got good ingredients, you don't have to do much with them. <laughs> you two are the ideas, guys. Ben's the chef. Jamie's work. here, and I'll finish it off. <laughs> yeah, we're happy with that. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know what half of this is. What are they? Oh, it's so a cool. dock leaf. As soon as the horn sounds, each of the guys will have 15 minutes to create part of a dish before passing it on to the next. The remaining four can't see or hear what's happening in the kitchen, so will have to react quickly when it's their turn in order to succeed. This is our character, but I'm going to pick these up. That's it. Okay, so I recently saw this really cool thing from um, a chef called Tommy Banks who runs a pub, a Michelin star pub called The Black Swan, where he sauteed beetroot in beef dripping and it made it taste like steak. I'm gonna chop them into chunky round discs and then I'm gonna fry them slowly in beef fat. This is stupid. I've already committed now, so I can't go back. Fine dining, so I'm going to take off all the knobbly bits around the side and make them nice and smooth. People are watching this and going, that is a man out of his depth. I don't know. To be perfectly honest, I'm just going to fry them. Someone might want to cube them up and then that whole process was a waste of time. Apparently, these caramelise over the course of about four hours. We have one hour and 15 minutes. Soon to be one hour because I'm running out of time. Barry Googles beef dripping beetroot black swan. Then what I'm doing will come up. If he doesn't, then it'll be great viewing for you. He's just going to have to get that. Okay. So what's the black swan about? Is he making some sort of like swan out of it? Oh, it's the chef. Mr. Tommy Banks makes a black swan. Beetroot steak. Okay, I see what he's doing. We need to pick a theme. Vegetables in beef dripping. So we're going to go for something that's like posh. What else we got here? Potatoes. Some potatoes in beef dripping. They could be like really posh chips. And I'm sure one of the chefs can someone give them the fish. So posh fish and chips. Mushy peas. I can do mushy peas well. I can do chips well. Let's just do that. Okay, potatoes. Okay. Right, I can make a few things, I reckon. Oh, organise your head. Organise your head. Where do you start? Automatically, I'm going to go for hassle back new potatoes. So they cut down to hit the spoon. Cut them different ways. I'll give them a flip just in case. They are burning. They probably are. Oh, no. Maybe I should have done that straight away. No! He's cooking off and smothered. A little bit of olive oil in there. A little bit, Barry. Sage. Sage and peas. No, I need that straight off. Let's just leave clues out again for Ebers. I'm making Hasselback potatoes. So let's go for Jimmy Floyd. There's there. But anyone who doesn't know, he's a uh, ex. Uh, Leeds footballer. So peas are going in there now. Some whole milk in there as well to boil away. To here. Lid on. A lot of butter in there, keeps it nice and glossy. How long? One minute! And then I want to just quickly see if I can sieve this through. Oh, it's too goddamn thick! Hang on. Fucking the shit. That'd be why. <laughs> Chuck some bloody sage in there. Flavour. Okay, right, I'm running out of time, so I'll let Ebers sieve that. Oh, oh dear. Oh no. That was so stressful. 
2648 Ben, if you need a code, my phone, which has got a clue on it. Well, if I can't get into it, it's not going to help me, is it? I can... Number one, mess. Bring peas that aren't quite cooked, burnt beetroot discs, butter, oregano. Right, two phones now. What? Okay. Having seen the fact that there's no protein yet and there's lots of lovely, beautiful, spring, fresh vegetables on the table, I'm surprised we've gone for roast potatoes and beetroot. Right, think. There's a few side dishes to go on, so I think I'm going to take it in the direction of spring lamb. I will not cook this, but I will create something that's delicious for Jamie to cook in his 15 minutes and rest, ready for James to plate. This is a really interesting vegetable. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Ed? Fennel, coriander, salt. Spice grinder would be great, but I think it might just be quicker to do this. This will give us a nice little rub, so when Jamie cooks it off in a minute, it will just give it a little bit of fragrance. One is going to be plenty for what we need here, but I'm going to do two, so Jamie's got a chance to cook them to different temperatures. And maybe James can decide which one. And because you've got these raw spices, I wouldn't normally use raw fennel or raw coriander, but as it cooks in the pan, that will toast off nicely. It will give us a really good crunch and crust and textures to the outside of our beautifully pink lamb. Wild garlic is amazing. You can only get it for a short period of time, but it's quite strong. In fact, I'm beginning to wonder if that might also be what's in the pea puree, but it's quite strong. So I'm going to blanch it for a minute in boiling water. And then we'll immediately chill it into an ice bath. Then we'll blend up wild garlic with about an equal quantity of olive oil, some salt, and that is literally it, but it should be thick and viscous. So this is a really interesting vegetable that's a cross between a turnip and a cabbage, I guess, really. This is the colour that's going to bring this plate together. Beautiful wild garlic oil. Last little thought and something we can leave Jamie to bring together, some awesome little onion rings, but made from leeks. They're tiny, they'll look really dainty on the plate. Just gonna toss them in seasoned corn flour. I'm gonna leave that next to the oil. He'll get that, right? 15 minutes goes quickly. Okay. Hot oil, and that seems to have to go in there, but I could not tell you what that is. That could be leeks? Oh, oh, it's got aniseedy stuff on it. It's fennel. What is that? Whatever this is, that doesn't taste of anything. So I don't know what that is. Okay, now, Ben being Ben would have left me clues for what to do. So I think oil being in there means I have to put the, what probably look like leeks into there. This isn't on, but would I be cooking that in there? I'm not gonna add anything, because if I add something, I'm gonna get told off. Yes. Yes, they might be done, but I don't know. Yep, yep. Tastes like that's been fried. Cool. You piece of absolute... One of the things I've seen them do in programmes like MasterChef when they're cooking stuff for like fine dining purposes. Ow! They never seem to get spat on. What does happen is... <laughs> oh! Right, what, what does happen, I'll turn that down, is they cook things in pans like this, and then they move all the liquid down to one side, and then they coat the top of whatever they're cooking with the butter because of the reasons. Oh yeah. These were not done by a chef. The worst thing is, I'm gonna get the blame for them. I haven't done the spooning thing for a while. Oh. 
Oh no. Should I put these on a plate for him? Then he'll know what they are. Maybe I'll put them next to some raw potatoes. Now, one of the things I have learned, because Ben says it all the time, is aromats, which are things that smell good. Therefore, I mean, I've done that, and I'm now worried that that wasn't the right thing to do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then if I put that in, it's quite hot. Oh, that felt so much shorter than the 10 minutes that we got the last couple of times. It's tidy. It's really tidy. Ooh. These look burnt, but... They kind of taste okay. They taste beetrooty in the middle, so I think that's okay. What are those? I don't know if I want to taste this. Flour is raw. Mushy peas. Which doesn't shout out fine dining to me. So I guess I should plate up, shouldn't I? I really want to save this puree because it's really grainy. I wonder if I can or not. I'm going to try putting some yoghurt in it as well. Got a plate. I need a plate. I need a plate. Let's see what happens. Oh, they haven't really left me a lot to do, have they? Right, does this go on? Yeah, I think it does. I just don't really like the way it's cut. Can you really fine dice it or something? Yeah, sure, why not? What I want to do is just put this through like a really super fine sieve. So um, the lamb maybe just needed to rest a little bit longer and it's just bleeding out onto the plate. Have I missed anything apart from these? <laughs> these aren't going on the plate. All that. It's something, you can't deny that, can you? It is the literal interpretation of fine dining. It's fine. The boys have created pan-fried crusted lamb in wild garlic oil with Hasselback potatoes, beef dripping beetroot steaks, a pea puree and no crispy leek rings. I can't tell if it looks good or if it's been put on a fancy black plate and therefore looks really good. I don't get to use black plates very often. So <laughs> no. Now. Hey, it's, it, that is fine dining, though. That is plated beautifully. Mm -hmm. There are some fantastic ingredients there. If it works, I don't know. Who knows? It's done a stonking job on that, man. I'll tell you what, that is not bad at all. Do you know what I think we've learned? Seasoning as well. We've met, I think we've rushed less this time. I really like the spices. They go well with everything else. That's really good. I mean, good. whether or not it was fine dining, I think that's a question we've got to ask you guys. You've got to comment down below. Also, you're the only ones who have actually seen all of this. Yeah. We have no idea what happened. So why don't you comment down below whether you thought we achieved fine dining. Also, put us in order of who you think oh, the nice. best oh, I, oh, Not again, mate. Do, do it. No, because I always end up last. No, I always <laughs> end up last. <laughs> I, I am going first next time, though. Yeah. Yeah. Deal. Yeah. Deal. 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 These are getting harder. Over to you. What category do we do next? Comment it below. Janice will read them and then she'll let us know on the day. Yeah. Yeah. I've got nothing more to say to that. Go on, Wicked, yeah, look at it. <laughs> As we mentioned, Sorted is just run by a group of friends. So if you like what we're doing, then there are loads of ways that you can support us and get more involved. Everything you need to know is linked below. Thanks and see you in a few days. And please like the book, like it, please. <laughs>